Hello everyone and welcome to another lesson. I'm very happy to have you here with me today. Today I want to go over one of the, I guess, uh, most uh, important node or one of the most used node I could say in N8N, which is the YouTube node. Uh, it's a quite new node. Uh, in the past, uh, when I, I remember when I started with Make.com, there was not any uh, YouTube node uh, back then. But then they added it later on, and now we have it also in N8N. So in this lesson, I will go through uh, the YouTube node and uh, explain a little bit uh, about it. But what's important also is I will we will build a uh, a sequence of node for YouTube that will cover uploading a video, uh, adding the video we just uploaded to a playlist, and then downloading an, a picture from Google Drive and then adding that picture as a featured image on that same YouTube video. So it's a quite important series, it's a four node series. Uh, don't worry, I will provide you with the uh, JSON file so you can uh, have it and you can download it and you can just import it into your workflow and then you will be able to uh, just uh, use it out of the get-go without uh, without setting anything up especially especially for the featured image bit as it can be tricky okay uh, but before I do I just want to point out your attention to my store here here you will find all of my uh, blueprints and workflows both for make and for n8n You'll also find uh, beginners and intermediate courses. You'll also find uh, really good automations that you can uh, use. Uh, yeah, and also there, there are lots of uh, also templates that you can use, some uh, boiler, boilerplate files and uh, very uh, useful automations uh, that you can import uh, directly to your workflows. Uh, also, all of these would be available in this uh, one uh, subscription per month. You will get all of these together bundled up, plus any new uh, workflows and blueprints uh, and courses that I will make uh, in the future. And I will keep on updating this one with everything. So it's a very good deal to, to take. All right, so let's get started. Um, I'm in N8N here. Uh, I have the first node, which is the trigger node, which is the first step that starts this automation. For this one, I'm gonna just use a manual one uh, for testing purposes. So now that I have this, I'm gonna rename so I don't forget YouTube node. Then I'm gonna add the YouTube node. So you see it here, uh, you'll get a lot of actions in here, which is very awesome. So you'll get channel actions, which uh, gets information about the channels, uh, you can update the, even the channel banner and update the channel itself. You get information about the playlist, how many playlists uh, you have, and you get to uh, update a playlist if you want. You also, <clears throat> you can add a playlist item, delete an item. We'll use, uh, we'll use that later on. Uh, but I think what the most important bit is the uh, video action, which is to delete a video, get a video, upload a video, write a video and everything uh, about this. Okay, so let us start with the most important one, I think, which is an up update a video. So you'll need to add your account. So you'll need to add the, uh, your credentials. Here you need to go to uh, Google uh, console and then uh, enable the YouTube API. And after that, you have to take this URL and insert it in the uh, in the redirect URL list that you have. So these uh, the Google uh, the console dot cloud dot Google here you have everything. So you have to go enable API and services, and you add your API here, and then you search for YouTube. I already have it set up, and you have to go for this one, and then enable. You'll find enable, and then after that you'll need to. Uh, Go back to API and services and go to credentials and you have to edit this one. And then you'll need to add your uh, URL here, the one that we saw uh, here, you'll, you need to add it there and save. Then after you do that, you get your client ID and, sec and client secret right from here. The client secret is below and this is your client ID. And after you do that, uh, you hit save and then you will have the button here to sign in. You click it and you sign in and that's about it. That's what you need to do. 
All right, I have mine already set up. Uh, so, so this is this here is it. It shows you what you need to do the on what is the action. So, is it a channel, playlist, video, category? What is a what? What, what do you want to do? So we say video, and we want to uh, you can either upload, update, uh, delete, get can do whatever you want. Then you, here you put the title of the video that you want and here you put the uh, where where do you want it the the region. Okay, so United States and then here you you choose the category of the of the video, okay? It could be whatever you want. Let's let's go for music. And here for the binary file. So the binary file is the actual video that you want to uh, you want to insert. So it has to be a file before this right so it has to be a file you can imagine getting the file from a google drive downloading the file right if we go to drive google drive and download a file for example here you download the file and after you download the file you it will directly be here in the date in the data section data section okay and here you can add stuff uh you can you can add a description with a video description here, you can add a, you can add the tags here. Uh, you can add uh, if it's a kid's content, you can self declare. If it's a kid's content, you have all of these options in the add options menu. Uh, but I think the most important bit when uploading a video is the title, the description, and if it's kids or or not, and then the tags. And the tags you would separate them with just comma. Like you would go, for example, music, um, uh, dancing, for example, etc. And okay, so we have the essential bits are here. Don't forget the it needs to to have the word data, and the previous node needs to download a file, and that it immediately takes the data from that file. All right, so we uploaded a video. Now let's go ahead and. Uh, uh, add playlist item so we'll go to YouTube so add playlist item it is here there you go so here you you select the playlist you can either select it by its name or by its ID so here we select this one we will have a drop down and then you need a video ID uh, the video ID you will get from a previous note uh, it's called upload ID. There you go. It's it's right in here. It shows you. You can you can click and drag it here. It's the upload ID. Okay. So once the video is uploaded here, uh, the result of this is would give you the upload ID, so you know uh, the video. And then to add it to the playlist, you just need to select the operation the add and the playlist, and then the upload ID, which signifies that this is. Uh, to add this video to this playlist. Of course, there are other options. Where do you want it to add it in the playlist? At the end, at the beginning, which position? Then you can choose from here. All right, so this is adding the same video that we have to the playlist. Now, what is next is uh, we'll need to... Um, so we'll need to download We'll need to download the feature image that we have. So you you should have it in um, on Google Drive or something uh, and download the image. And then after that, we have to make an HTTP request. And this is the tricky bit because you need to know a little bit about uh, the Google API. So we'll need to get the endpoint from here. So the endpoint would be here, and it needs to it needs to be a post because we're sending information okay then the authentications uh, we can uh, we can leave we, we can we can say predefined because we already have the YouTube we already added our uh, information so just uh, choose the YouTube one and then you have to send query parameters and then here in the query parameters you would need to uh, put the video ID and the upload ID that we had from before uh, from in here. Yeah, after we uploaded the video. Okay, so uh, let me show you uh, the finished workflow. 
so that you could uh, you could see how it is. All right, this is the finished four nodes that you would need. We have the upload video here, right, with everything you need. Of course, don't forget to set the privacy status to public. So you can either set, set it to private, unlisted, or public. You can go public directly with it. It's not an issue. Uh, then you add the playlist item. Take in, you will take the upload ID from the YouTube node, just, just like here. And then the Google Drive where you will download the file for your featured image. And then finally, the HTTP request that has everything you need uh, from here. Uh, of course, don't forget that the this one, it will take, it, you need to send the body and it will take it from the N8N binary file data. So the previous node needs to download a file uh, and it, it should be named data. That, that way the image gets through directly. All right, so this is the four nodes that you need to upload a video, add it to a playlist and then uh, alter its uh, featured image. So that's the full workflow you need. So I'm gonna download this workflow for you and then upload it again. What you'll need to do is just click the three, three dots and then import from file and then you'll have all of this ready-made setup for you that has everything you need. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like, subscribe for more videos and I'm gonna see you in the next lesson.